First, uh, some nice news today. You've uh, re-signed with the Chicago Fire Soccer Club. Talk about uh, talk about that process and your decision to uh, re-up with the club. Well, I mean, it's a it's a great feeling. You know, um, I'm excited to be here. It's a great franchise. You know, we we have something here that I think it's um, it's worth staying for. You know, and um, help building a nice program. You know, um, it shows that my work that I did it this season, you know, it, it wasn't unnoticed, it didn't go unnoticed, you know, and um, there wasn't any second doubt in my mind, you know, whether to resign or not. You know, they offered me something that I thought was good enough, you know, and um, I'm ha I happily accept, you know, as I said, the fans, the city, you know, everything about Chicago makes me feel at home, and it was a no brainer for me to resign. Sort of a tough season. You talk a lot about the draws, and if you could have just turned a few of those into wins. Uh, talk about your th overall thoughts on your first season in Chicago. I think I had one of my best seasons, you know, being in the league. You know, unfortunately, you know, um, we didn't make the playoffs, you know, but at, at, at some point in time, you know, you have to like, you have to be selfish at times and think about you, the individual, make sure that your performance is at, you know, a high level because there's no way you can demand from your teammates if your performance is not, you know, on point every game, you know, and um, there's a couple of games where we tied and, it, it really hurts, you know, and uh, had we snuck in one extra goal, you know, here or there, you know, maybe two or three more games, we probably would have been in the postseason right now. But all in all, you know, it's a learning process. And I said this um, at the end of the, the last game against Houston, sometimes you have to accept defeat to really know how success, sweet success is when it comes, you know, and I think this season we took a step back because we're going to take five steps forward next season. Uh, in, those, in those times where long gaps maybe between wins, were there were there time were there times that it was difficult in the locker room or how what was what was there a consistent mood in the locker room? No, you know it's funny. Um, I've been in teams before where it was it was just not going well, you know. And guys, it would be a, like a dog fight, you know. But I have to raise my hat to the guys in the locker room this season. Every single day we said it, you know, we're not going to give up on each other. We're not going to give up on this franchise. We're not going to give up on the season, and we fought until the last game. Um, the last game against Houston, we went down 1-0, and we fought back and we won it, you know. So. If there's one positive I can say I take away from this season is the guys never gave up. Ne there's never a day where I look at a guy in practice or in a game and said, you know what, he quit on us. You know, and um, that's one of the reasons also that I was motivated to stay here because these guys, they fight to the last end. And I, I'm happy to go out and, and battle with these guys every day. And then finally, you're getting ready very soon to head back to Jamaica. Um, talk about what you're going to be doing with your off season and, and how you're going to be staying in shape. Well, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry Chicago, I love you guys a lot, I love the city a lot, but it's a little bit too cold for me, um, so my dad is here with me right now, we're spending a couple of days and we're going to head back to Jamaica. Um, I'm going to take two weeks off where I just relax, enjoy the beach, I'm sorry guys, <laughs> you know, and then um, I start my training, you know, I'll definitely be going in the gym because I went up against some strikers this year who I think um, they're very strong and I need to get some, um, some strength, you know, to deal with those guys.